We just came to America for the first time around 2002 to start promoting uh, the first album we made for Atlantic Records here and we were just beginning to make a name for ourselves as a live band and we was having a lot of problems with um, reproducing the kind of acoustic tones, the acoustic sounds we were using on the records. And Ron said to us, man, you've got to try these guitars out. These, this company I'm representing make these amazing guitars. And uh, I think they came down to a show we were doing in uh, Asbury Park and brought a couple of the guitars along. And uh, that was it, religious conversion. Train set a match spy under the blind Shiny and contoured the railway winds I've heard this sound from my cousin's bed The hiss of the train at the railway head Summers are slipping away. And so it gives you a lot more confidence when you're writing to know that you can reproduce those tones and those sounds when you get out into the live kind of arena, as it were. Which is always a kind of trade off before, you know, should we do this, should we drop a song because it's relying too much on a sound that we can't, we can't quite get, you know, to cut live. And now we just don't have those issues anymore. Babbitt's guitar seems to have everything in order to create the, the perfect kind of combination sound for live use. So you have the, the I-beam pickup which gives you a very warm, kind of friendly tone, a very organic tone. But it also allows you to combine some of the piezo pickup which gives you that very, or piezo as you say in America, uh, the piezo pickup which gives you that very crisp definition that sometimes you need live as well. Um, it also looks good and it feels good and I tell you we get so many people inquiring just because of the kind of this technique here of allowing the, the, the strings to fan out uh, beyond the bridge and spread the sound out across the, the whole body of the guitar. And initially I think a lot of people are kind of fascinated by the look of the guitar, and I think we were too, but it just, it's, it's just got everything. It looks good, it feels good, and it, it sounds good. People come up to us after the shows and say, wow, what were those cool looking guitars you were playing? You start to explain to them that there is actually you know, a, a, a very logical um, reason physical reason for having uh, the thing out there like even more like wow you know it's not just a kind of uh, affectation it actually has a very sound sort of scientific principle and I think that really kind of impresses people you know Babbitts have been one of the most I mean particularly as they came on board when we were really not so well known in America and they gave us so much support and uh, been so kind of uh, proactive in helping the band to uh, to reach new people and particularly musicians and uh, that's what it's all about for me. I've never, you know, I've never been in this industry to sell records or make money. It's all been about, you know, forging good relationships with musicians, with fans, with people in the business that, that really respect what we do and we, we respect what they do. Uh, Babbitt's are kind of top of that list for us at the moment, and I'm, I'm sure for many years to come. <laughs>